I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I coach people. I do career and leadership coaching and in the career category, in addition to helping you refine your goals and objectives, I help throughout the interview cycle and once you're in the new role. And I thought I would do a show today that talks about what to do immediately after the interview. And I'm frankly surprised I haven't done this, but when the idea came to my mind, I went back and I really didn't see anything I'd done that addressed that. So I thought I would do a show today that deals with after the interview, what you should do almost immediately, like leave the building. But after that, here's a couple of things I want you to do, because my belief is you can learn from the experience and there's information that you can glean from them that will help you if and when you're invited back. So the first thing is, what do they ask you? You know, go to specific questions. What did they ask you? about and how did you answer the questions in retrospect did you hit on the points or did you miss on something now part of the reason of that is i want you to learn for the next interview whether it's with them or with another firm how you can perform better because it's kind of like watching tape after a sporting event you know great athletes so i use football for example Football players watch tape of their performance. They look at the defenses. You know, as a quarterback, did I read the defense right? How did I miss? How did they disguise their, their defensive alignment to confuse me? What could I have done differently? I sit with my coach, and I'm not trying to sell you coaching right now, but you know, I sit with my coach to do a debrief about what I missed here and what I, I read well and how I reacted. So you want to remember and review and jot down what did they ask and how did you answer? Now, this is the next thing I want you to think in terms of, and this is very important if you're invited back, what seemed to matter to them? Now, the matter to them part of this ties in very well with what I call the best question to ask on any interview, which I've covered any number of times. Go back and watch my video on the best question to ask on any interview and when to ask it. Um, the, you know, it starts off the interview talking about you know, finding out about the role and I teach you how to do it. And now I want you to compare it with what you're picking up from their questioning as to what seemed to matter to them. As you go on in the interview process with the, the organization, particularly on second and third interviews, did you discern anything new from them? Like at the first interview with HR and with you know, the team, they may talk about one thing. But as you get further along the road, you start to pick up new little tidbits of information. Write it down write it down. It's important to remember because when you get the decisions and once you're on board, if you go on board, it's important to remember these little details because they can be pivotal to your success on subsequent interviews and once you're on board in the new job. Energetically, what did the place feel like? You know, did it have the kind of energy you like working with? For those of you who like a quiet space, was it quiet? For those of you who want a lot of action and interaction with people, were, was there a lot of energy and noise in the room? What did it feel like there? Is there someone there that you should write a thank you note to? Because I do believe thank you notes are an, another selling opportunity that so few people exercise. And just to be clear, I'm not talking about a handwritten note. I want you to email a note to them pretty quickly. And to use that note is an opportunity to reinforce the positive things that you communicated to them that relate to what they're looking for, and ideally to rectify any mistakes that you made in the course of your interview. What went well, what didn't go well? And to be, be clear about that, this is about your learning here. How did you perform well? How didn't you perform well? What did they say to you that really struck a responsive chord? What gave you cause for pause? And that second thing, the cause for pause, gives you follow-up questions that on subsequent interviews you can ask clarifying questions about. Is there someone there after the interview who you'd want to connect with on LinkedIn, drop a note to? 
things along those lines. And, and drop a note too isn't the, you know, hey, thanks for making time to speak with me. It's about the real relationship connection. But first things first, is there someone there who intrigued you who you'd want to connect with on LinkedIn and try and develop a relationship with? All of these are variables that it's important for you to review as part of your growth and as part of your professional development. If you ignore them, you're missing an opportunity to get better at what you do. Give yourself criteria for evaluating the opportunity and help yourself perform well at subsequent interviews. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which you can do. Uh, excuse me, I always have trouble with this. If you see that little icon in the corner there, <laughs> I record this on Facebook and send it to YouTube, and I, I'm not seeing the icon, and it's backward for me. So if you see the little icon there, click on that and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which you can access at jobsearchtv.com, and that takes you directly to my YouTube uh, videos and stuff, over 4,000 there. Uh, and I'll also say to you, I have a lot of information available on my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. Visit the site, go exploring in the blog. There are thousands of posts that will help you with your search. And I have to say, they're not personalized for you and your circumstances. So what I do as a coach is I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. I use the information on my site and then try, try and tie the bow to help you perform at a high level. The videos allow you to, re to review at your convenience and to practice the ideas, but I put everything together for you. So if you'd like me to coach you, reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter and once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. Hope you have a great day. Take care.